Welcome back to Saturday AM. Now, if you haven't already heard, gin is what's in. And if you're one of those unfortunate souls that has yet to jump on the G&T bandwagon, fear not, as we may have just found the one for you. Now, Oshin Davis, the expert himself, is sure that he has three essential gins that you need to try before you turn your back on the world of gin for good. Good morning to you, Oshin. Good morning, You've folks. How are we? you for us. Aren't you very kind? Uh, this is like a dealer's choice, because these are actually three of my favourites. Really? Oh, really? These are in my top ten. Okay. You know, really, right. I love them. And we're going to start with an Irish We'll start with Irish. Uh, so this is called Ecklinville no, Single Pot Still Irish Gin. So Single Pot Still is actually a, a form of distillation that you would normally associate with whiskey. Okay? okay. So what these guys are doing is they're actually growing their own barley on their own farm. Okay. And they malt it and then they still it then into a gin. Very okay. Clever. Really, really nice. What the malted barley does is it gives it a really creamy mouthfeel and a totally different type of texture to uh, when you're it. sipping it. Yeah. You know? it's very heavy. This is from County Down, isn't County it? County Down, Newton Arts, County Down. It smells uh, yeah, really fresh. It's, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Really interesting botanicals in there. They use things like lavender. Oh, that's gorgeous. So what they actually do is they actually they recommend an elderflower tonic water. So this one okay. is actually Poacher's Wild Tonic Water and it's made with uh, wild elderflower from the Brook Lodge Hotel in Wicklow. Oh, of course. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a really nice all Irish gin and tonic. Great serve. Beautiful. It's a keeper. Very drinkable. Yeah. Really different, like you know. What, sweet. What, yeah, I mean the, the tonic water isn't too sweet either, so that's always a very important component to keep in mind. Yeah. You know, but the right elderflower tonic is a nice addition, isn't that's it? So summery, like you know. Yeah. We've lost a little bit of the summery weather today, but yeah. I'm sure we'll get it back. You know. It'll be back. It'll yeah. be back um, in about like four years. And that's summer in a glass, really, right there. Anyway, you know. Yeah. <laughs> No, really, I, I really think tasty. it's, it's um, I've yet to be convinced by gin, as you know, Oshin. We're These chipping two, away, or we're yeah. getting there. These you know? two <laughs> don't need any convincing. I <laughs> no, find I gin, gin in general. Now, but that's, that's very nice. It's I very think gin in general, for me, is very bitter, but then you were kind of introducing the elderflower, as Anna said, yeah. it's lovely yeah, and fresh, sweet. and it yeah. does make a difference to the taste. Absolutely, I mean, it's just fresh. a tiny slice of lime, because yeah. actually this doesn't need a huge amount of garnishing, this one, you know? But it's just, it has a very special balance, you know? It's yeah. that l lovely uh, balance between spice and floral notes, and the mouth feel on the gin is just and so special. To an Irish company absolutely, as well. absolutely. Very really yeah. What's the price point on that? Uh, that one, I believe, is about uh, 40, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 40, that's okay. from uh, the Celtic Whiskey Store. And look at the bottle nice. as well. Okay. Just have a They're so creative. <laughs> Love the gin yeah, yeah. Now, another creative bottle here. Where are we going to next, Oshin? Oh, God, this is a showstopper. Okay, this is called Gin Mari. It's made just outside Barcelona. And the whole idea behind the gin itself is to celebrate the Mediterranean. It's all Thank about. You what's available in the Mediterranean, okay. and uh, how they can encapsulate that into a bottle, okay? Oh. So what they do is they take some Spanish um, uh, citrus fruits, right, and they actually sit them for well over a year in neutral grain spirit just to get the, the, the flavor of the citrus peels into, into the spirit, right? And then they blend it with all different types of other ingredients in the Mediterranean too. So for instance, they got the Italian juniper, there's some Turkish herbs, and, uh, and then, what really interestingly, what they do with them at the, uh, towards the, the final end of the process is they actually distill it with some Spanish olives. Mm. So it has a beautiful herbal Gin citrus mar, taste think. and then a little bit of a savoury note then from the olive. I'm this assuming is, that doesn't come cheap for all of that effort. This, I th as far as I know, I could be mistaken, is the most expensive uh, Irish in the market. Let me just say, if any of my family or friends are, you know, tuning in today, to my birthday's presents. in a couple of weeks. I'm, ah, I'm, I'm a part of Leo, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's so fancy, it almost looks like a bottle of perfume, doesn't it? It's, it's, it's an incredible bottle. I mean, the bottle, that you, actually, I think, just sells Certainly. itself, you know, but... To be fair, it's a stunning liquid. It's just a gorgeous oh, that is gin. Lovely. Very, very different mm. to the first one. Absolutely. It's you like know, there's a gin for everyone out there, you know? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's nice. And then, of course, then what I did was I paired that with the, uh, the Fever Tree Mediterranean tonic water. So then that actually has some nice herbs in it, too. It yeah. brings it all together really that's nicely. That's far more savoury. Absolutely, savory yeah. Taste I mean, all of it's so different, you know what I mean? And yeah, they just do it so different. well. Yeah. And they're, they're a very interesting family. They've been in the business for a very long time. The younger generation decided to run with this one. It's a great, great gin. I love so it. So, working through your top 10. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> now, honestly, um, this is the way This is, if you, if you are a juniper Thanks, forward Anna. gin lover, so you can't make gin without juniper berries, right? That's what yes. it's all about, really. At the end of the day, if there's no juniper berries in your gin, it's not a gin, okay? okay. This is what I would call a juniper forward gin, okay? It's robust. It's, it's strong and it is an essential gin to have in your cupboard, in my opinion, okay? It's okay. called Plymouth Gin. It's distilled in Plymouth. And um, actually what's interesting about it is that's the uh, oldest operating dist uh, gin distillery in England. And they've been using the same stills for the last 150 years. Oh, so wow. Incredible legacy, you know? Has a gorgeous uh, So they uh, were doing this long before it was trendy. 
Well, this is... A, <laughs> and yeah, is it yeah. well known, then, in the, among gin, gin lovers, this would be...? I would say, when I'm out in my travels uh, and if I'm out and, abroad, uh, out and about abroad, especially in cocktail bars, this is the go-to gin that uh, cocktail bars would run with, for instance, with uh, martinis, OK? Because oh, it's, okay. it's just so robust and, and has such great length, you know? Um, what but tonic to, did you put that with? So I, I paired this one with an, another robust tonic water, because it needs something that's good and strong to, to, you know, to, to, to compete with all the juniper that's in that, and that's the Fentiman's uh, Indian tonic water. That, to me, is the most gin-like I gin. agree. Exactly. It's it's, yeah. you know what I mean? This is a ginny gin. You know? That's a gin. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different flavours and so many different variants of gins out there, you know, but because what that... happens is they all start with this one. All the gin yeah. distillers okay. that I know of, right, yeah. they go, this is the benchmark. That's where they, where they start from, yeah. and then they move forward. Because you know? that one, to, the first one, to me, tastes more like a gin cocktail. Mm. Do you there you know go. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. And that's lighter and sweeter. Sweet that's a gin gin. This one is paired back, and it's just really well distilled. Uh, I always have a bottle of it at my house. <laughs> All right, yeah. so one, two, or three, Laura, where are you going? One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to go with two. Be honest. I'm going to go with two as well. But I'm going with one. Are you? Hey, yeah, are you? even split. There Sorry, Clemens. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm call up I, and I bring a bottle. And you're going with three. <laughs> I love them all. You love them. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Oshin. Oshin. Thank, Thank you. you. Great to have you in, as always. Now we had mackerel for lunch uh, this morning. <laughs> Doesn't read very well. Here's how to make it at home. We'd mackerel for our breakfast. <laughs>